Hey there, it's Matt here, and today I'm going to show you how I modeled a door in SketchUp. In fact, this very two-panel door that you see in front of you. So in order to model this, first I'm going to need to get some dimensions with a tape measure. So I measured the thickness of the door, the height and width, and then the distances between all the panels. I'm also going to take a picture of the door um, just to use for reference for the details of the panels. Try to get the camera as perpendicular to the door as possible to have as little distortion as I can. I'll try to correct for any imperfections in the perspective when I took the picture, and then I'll crop right to the edges of the door. Okay, cool, that's everything I need. Now I can hop into SketchUp. Okay, so um, first I will draw the outline of the door leaf. So using the rectangle, I'll hit the uh, left arrow key to snap to the green plane here. And then um, it was 29.5 by 80. So here's my magical door here. Um, I'll actually make a copy of it first using the move and the um, modifier key. And I'm just going to bring in that um, photo that I took of the door. Downloads, here we go, use as texture, and then here and here. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'll go into um, position texture. And uh, if you don't see these pins, if you see these ones, I'll use the fixed pins for this. So I'll right click on one of the pins and say fixed pins. And then that way, just gonna try to move these so that they are, sometimes we might have to zoom in to make small adjustments. Okay, and then I'll push this um, out 1.5. And this actually needs to be flipped. So I'll go texture, position, and right click here and say flip left, right. That way it is correct on both sides. And maybe this is all I need um, for my model, but I will triple click to select that all and make a group. And then now, so this is kind of a photo texture version of the door. Here I'll do the, uh, the, the modeled version. So uh, again, I'll push that 1.5 and then I'm gonna offset this five inches. Um, that was the the offset on the sides. The top offset is actually four inches. So I'll just move this up one. And then on the bottom, it's eight and a half. So I'll move it up uh, 3.5. This bottom panel here is 24 uh, inches. So I will move this bottom with a copy modifier, 24. And then the gap here is six and three quarters. Delete these extras and now I have my two panels. Um, I'll also make the door handle hole right now. So it's 36 up and 2.5 across. And this opening is two and three quarters, which is one and three eighths radius. I can push that to the back and delete these guides. Okay, now for the, um, the detail on the door, these measurements here, they're very small and they kind of are just nothing. Like they're not important, like they don't matter. So I'll just kind of eyeball it here. So I'm going to I'll move all this closer so I can be right in, right in there, offset it. A little bit and move that back in the green. Uh, I'll say one sixteenth. Offset again. Offset and move. Offset a little bit. And again, I'm just straight up eyeballing this. Here we go. Move this back up. This this piece kind of comes out a little bit. And our last little offset 
this will move and it's actually flush with the door. Okay, so there we have our detail. In order to replicate that same profile on the top, at first I was like, okay, maybe I can like, you know, make a face consisting of these angles and then use follow me on this, on this top panel. I don't have to do that. I'll keep it easy here. Um, what I'm going to do is delete this panel left to right selection to select all the geometry in here and just copy that straight up. And then I can just copy that top uh, geometry in order to not stretch it. But I will use the sticky geometry from SketchUp. And that way, boom, I have the panel with the same profile in the top and bottom. Um, one thing you can notice here, just from a visual style, these are pretty like soft. They don't really show the edges here. Um, but in SketchUp, obviously, these one pixel edges do show. What I'm going to do is select left to right on these. And I'm going to right click and say select and deselect faces. I just want the edges here. And then I'm going to go into Entity Info and hide the edges. Now it looks like they've disappeared, but when I turn on shadows, you can see those and it looks a lot more realistic than um, before when it was the actual edges. Um, I want to put the same panel on the back. Right now there's nothing on the back. Um, so I'll delete this back face. And what I'm going to do is do a left to right selection to select everything this touches here. And I'll use the flip command. So I'll use the flip tool and copy modifier using the green and go from the midpoint of that to flip. And again, you can't see that because of the shadows, but I'm supposing if I turned ambient occlusion on here, you can see that that geometry or hidden geometry, you can see that that's in there, which is what we want. Okay, cool. At this point, this is the door leaf completed. I'll triple click to select all that and make it a component door leaf. Move it over just a bit. Um, I'm also going to add the door knob in here. It's not going to be super high detailed, but um, you know, you, know, you got a door, you got to have a door knob. So I'll inference the center of this circle. And pull that out the same, uh, or actually maybe a little bit more than the hole. And then I'm going to draw a profile in order to do a follow me for the, the handle here. This actually comes out two and a half. So I'll use a guide to move that to the right spot. And I'm not going to do a super accurate version of the doorknob here, but just enough to give you an idea of what's going on. Just the little handle here and somewhere here. Delete that extra stuff I don't need. Select that circle. Tools, follow me. And there's our handle. Does it look a little big? <laughs> Triple click to select all that geometry and uh, make that a group. What I'm going to do is go back into this group, select it all, and again use that flip modifier around the midpoint to make the handle on both sides, and then cut that uh, using Command X, go into this group, paste in place. So now if I do uh, open the door, that handle will come with it. One last thing for the door is the door frame. So what I'm going to do is come down to the floor here, and the measurement that I got was or 4.5 and I'll just do one inch here and then this interior one was uh, 1.5 1.5 and half an inch 
And to make the frame, what I'm going to do is uh, just draw the profile. Select those three edges using the shift key. Make sure that last one. Hey, where'd you go, bud? Get that last one. And then again, tools, follow me, select the profile. Triple click and make that a group. And then now I'm going to select everything here and make this a component. This is our door assembly. Okay, now I can open that door up. Hey, I got a fine, fine enough looking door for my model. And there you have it. That's how I modeled this thing. Wait, this thing? <laughs> But um, let me know if you would have done anything differently. Um, you know, is there other things that you would include that I didn't? You know, hinges or other door-related things? <laughs> um, let me know. Uh, if you like this kind of format of video of how to model a blank in SketchUp, let us know other things you'd like us to model down below. Uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and uh, give us a like. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We make a lot of videos over here. And uh, if you want to learn more SketchUp or if you want to see some cool stuff being done with SketchUp, the SketchUp YouTube channel is the place to do it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks.